wonder if we are maybe live. We could be, but we don't have to be. But there's a chance we are. I think we are. Yay! Good morning! Welcome to Nakano. Welcome to a nice day here in Tokyo. Finally, we have some blue sky again. Finally, the conditions are right for me to continue my uh, long walk along the Chuo line. Uh, so we're back here at Nakano, where I ended my walk uh, about, I think it's almost two weeks ago, when Daniel joined me for the last uh, leg, which was from Shinjuku to Nakano. Uh, and uh, yeah, today I'm hoping to make it all the way to Kichiyoji, which is about eight and a half kilometers away, eight and a half kilometers to the west. It's a little bit far, but I think with your support and with your uh, company I might be able to do that but first I actually rather than walking just along the train tracks here which is a slightly boring route I will actually walk down a few blocks and check out the area where I used to live and then walk parallel to Waseradori to the west instead so let's start by heading back down here uh, head down to the station plaza and walk through uh, Nakano Broadway But yeah, it's, it's uh, finally, I've been holding off to continue this walk because when I do these long walks, I really want the weather to be at least decent. I don't want to do this in a like gray and uh, totally rainy and depressing day. Today it's like so-so, but according to the forecast, it looks like it's going to clear up. It's still a bit cloudy in some parts of the sky, but I think we'll be fine. Anyway, let's start with a morning stroll through um, uh, Nakano Broadway and Sun Mall. Looks like there's a lot of construction there. Yes, that is true. A lot of construction everywhere in Tokyo, but uh, they're building like some new massive building over there. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see when, what that will be like. Oops, I hear something that could potentially be problematic. So So, okay, sorry, change of plan. I realized that they often do play copyrighted music on that shopping street. Uh, and copyrighted music is not my friend. So uh, I guess I'll have to take these little side streets instead for a while. Sorry about that. But these blocks are very nice too. So I used to live here in Nakano until, I think it's four or five years ago now. But I really enjoyed having this as my local neighborhood. It's, it's a really great place to live. Super close to Shinjuku. Lots of great shops in the neighborhood. Nice vibe. Yeah. No sound. Yeah, I switched off the sound for a while because there was some copyrighted music. But hopefully you can hear me now. just like many other neighborhoods here on the Chuo line are really areas that I feel are the most interesting uh, at night but uh, since I have to do this walk during daytime this is what you'll be getting but there are plenty of night walk videos from Nakano on my channel too if you're interested if you want to see what it looks like oh and also weather check yes thanks for reminding me it's actually cold it's 15 degrees. I am wearing jeans, Rico GR, jacket, 
so yeah, it's pretty cool. It's uh, I think it's just gonna go up to did it say? Yeah, 17 at most today. So pretty cool. Pretty cool weather. Autumn is here finally. Let's reach thousand today. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> As promised before, if we ever reach a thousand viewers at the same time, I will do a face reveal. So please help me get there. That would be great. I've been close to a thousand a couple of times, but uh, that was quite a long time ago. But two winters ago, I was often in that territory by eight, nine hundred viewers. Yes, Luke, <laughs> sorry, no, no pink shorts today. I just love all these side streets here in Nakano and it's such a nice place for photography, especially, like I said, especially at night. I think today's stream will be around two hours. Could be a little bit more, could be a little bit less. But of course, it all, it all depends on how it goes. It all depends on how it goes. <laughs> you just need to live stream a concert. Well, you know, I want those thousand viewers to come for my walks not for for something else that my channel is not about so of course there are easy ways to get plenty of viewers that was not a dead person on the street by the way they were doing some work on with the sewers <laughs> So yeah, if I walk the shortest way to Kitsiyoji, which is basically just next to the tracks the entire time, it's uh, eight and a half kilometers. So now that I'm taking a bit of a detour, I think we're looking more at like 10k, which is pretty far, but who knows? Uh, colors on today's stream are excellent, and thank you, that's good to hear. Are you happy with the 14 Pro Max? Yes, I am, I am. It's a nice little bump in image quality and that's that's all I was hoping for and I think it delivers. I think it delivers. Also, I hope you enjoyed the video I posted yesterday, which was kind of a different type of content for my channel. It was a long pre-recorded video where I had a guest and uh, yeah, a little bit more letting that other person talk rather than myself. Um, it would be interesting to hear if you, if you liked it. I plan to do more videos like that in the future. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's performing pretty well so far. So it looks like you guys appreciate it. And it's a good excuse for me to go out and socialize and actually meet people <laughs> to invite them to join me on the uh, on stream and on that subject if you have any ideas or suggestions about people uh, in uh, well anywhere in Japan but ideally in the Tokyo region who you would like to see join me on a walk please by all means let me know uh, they don't have to be YouTubers or anything like that. Anyone is welcome, but uh, ideally people who have lived in Japan for a while and are somewhat integrated here. I don't 
don't really plan on inviting like visitors uh, at least not uh, yeah at least that's not my, my main idea I want to be able to talk about the experience of living long term in Japan because that's a lot a topic that um, that we uh, talk a lot about on this channel and also where I think I actually have something of value to contribute. Interesting to take a walk with him. Oh, coffee shop that did not exist here when I was when I was living in Nakano. Looks very nice. It's a little bit soon for a coffee break already, though. But uh, there surely will be a coffee break at some point during today's trip. Last time I was watching you, we were talking about moving to Sweden. Yes, and if you watch the streams I've done since since then, you will learn why I'm back in Japan. I've been talking a lot about it, so I don't want to repeat that once again. So let's walk. Maybe no, let's take next street. It'll be interesting to see how the phone holds up. I've had a few technical issues in the last couple of weeks while streaming in 60 frames per second. Uh, today I made sure to reboot the phone before starting the stream. We'll see if that has some impact on stability. Apple Watch already realized that I was taking a walk. That's good. Now we will have some proper tracking of today's walk, hopefully. What? This. What? How do you recognize? Can you used to live around here? How do you recognize this street? How many kilometers do you walk on average? I don't know. I don't know. And I can't. This is a nice little facade here. Uh, I can't check now because that's tracked in the Apple Fitness app. And since I'm streaming from my phone, uh, I can't open it. Was the phone fully charged before starting today's stream? Almost! It was at 95% when I started the stream. Now it's 91. So yeah, the battery does drain a little bit faster with these settings, but I have my, have my spare battery with me. I think we'll be fine. I think two, two and a half hours is what we can do on a full charge. Ah, oh, this park. Yes, I remember this. It's uh, not terribly sad, but not terribly exciting either. I would rate it maybe 
maybe a three out of five on the on the patented Tokyo Explorer playground sadness scale. We all know the patented T playground sadness scale, right? It's a very, very important measurement. Nice little cone here, ensuring the safety of uh, everyone in the area. And as always, I am snapping away on my on my other camera as well, so there will be a little photo dump on Twitter and Instagram later. Found a five out of five sadness scale under free under free freeway playground in Chiba yesterday. Yeah, can imagine. There's plenty of those in Japan. They're they're really five out of five. So now going back to Waseda Dori. Uh, if you're curious about the rent prices around here take a look but you can find small one-room apartments for 85,000 yen 83,000 yen the cheapest one five minutes away from Nakano station 27 square meters how would I rate the Swedish playgrounds that I've already seen I think of course, there's a few sad playgrounds in Sweden too, but in general, I think the, the playgrounds there are generally much nicer. Uh, you wouldn't, we wouldn't really build a playground out or under a tunnel or under an elevated highway in Sweden. Uh, Sweden has a lot of space in general, so playgrounds are big. We also value greenery in nature so most playgrounds in Sweden tend to be pretty green and nice so it's things like that that I think are very important should map and make an app with the playgrounds yeah why not <laughs> that's a good idea that's a good idea per perfect app for parents indeed it would be a good app to have I will walk a little bit along Wasadadori here for a few more blocks then I will turn left when we get to Koenji, walk through the Koenji neighborhood and then continue along the train tracks. 27 square meters is uh, actually quite big for a, for a apartment for a single person uh, in Tokyo. You have one room apartments which are like half that size actually. So 27 square meters. Like when I first came to Japan, um, it would be kind of a dream to have my own 27 square meter place when I was a poor little language student in my 20s. I should now nah, let's continue straight here yeah. yeah I did live I had my own place in Shinjuku over 10 years ago and that place was 16 square meters that was pretty pretty small but I was happy there at that time I didn't really need much space as long as I had a place to sleep, 
do my computer stuff and cook a cup of coffee in the morning. That was basically all I needed. And I don't know, I kind of like this kind of forced minimalism in a way. You don't have space to buy a lot of junk when you're living like that. Well, in Sweden, we are a fan of Lefsa. Uh, maybe you're talking about the Norwegian kind of sandwich roll. Uh, we don't have that in Sweden. It's a, it's a Norwegian thing. Hello, just roaming around. How are you today? Thanks for stopping by here. And thanks for meeting up the other night. Now we have like a family sized apartment, which is about 75 square meters, three bedrooms. So that's quite a comfortable size um, for us, of course. It always feels like you're running out of space. It would always be nice to have something bigger, but we can fit everything we need where we live now. So that's a good thing. So over here is actually lots of university buildings. Uh, maybe I should have taken you through the Nakano Chuo Koen, but hey, I can't show you everything. <laughs> Yeah, we need 795 more people. <laughs> I did put, place the bar pretty high, but anything lower than that, then it wouldn't feel us. I don't know, I want, if I'm gonna do this face reveal thing, then I want it to be like at a point where we're setting a new record for this channel. So, and a thousand is a pretty good number. So let's see what happens in the coming months as i said i don't expect it to happen overnight but if we can see a bit of sustained growth for for a couple of months i think we can it's not completely unrealistic to reach a thousand viewers at the same time Here's another little park. This one, I don't know. I would say this is also a three out of five. It's, uh, yeah. I'm sure my daughter could have fun here, but it just looks so sad when it's all just gravel. But at least there's some nice trees. So yeah, three out of five. Oh, thank you for the super chat, uh, Mr. Smokehouse. Uh, thank you very much. The first super chat of today. Hopefully not the last. Chris, good to hear that you enjoyed the walk with uh, Alfie. Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy. I really enjoyed it. And it was a good excuse for me because I've been wanting to meet up with him for a long time. Uh, I've been following him on Twitter. And he's very interesting and very enthusiastic there. So it was great to kind of have a good excuse to actually meet up with him. themed meeting point. It's a co cafe, but I think maybe they have some events as well. I'm not sure. UFO table cafe. But even back when I was living in Nakano, there was often lots of 
uh, kind of nerdy looking people gathering in front of that place and queuing up for something. Now we are approaching Koenji. Basically this big street is what separates Nakano on this side to Koenji on the opposite side. And let's do a little dash. Ah, almost made it. Almost made it before it turned green. Uh, turned red. Is the photographer based in Japan? Yeah, yeah. He has been living in Japan even longer than me. And in the same area as well. So we walk through his local neighborhood. I've probably mentioned this many times before, but Koenji is also one of my favorite neighborhoods in Tokyo. I certainly wouldn't mind living in Koenji one day. Basically along this Chuo line, there's so many nice neighborhoods. So if you are moving to Tokyo or coming here for a while and you're trying to figure out where to live, well, look, here they're building something new. Maybe this could be your future home. No, but if you are moving here, I, I highly recommend looking into the neighborhoods on the Chuo line because it is a very, very nice part of town. Great access to central Tokyo as well. Okay, we're getting close to 300 viewers now. Great! Only 700 left then. <laughs> When are you doing a live walk through Tokyo Disneyland? Uh, I hate Disney, so never. <laughs> so, Koenji. Very sleepy in the mornings, very, very lively at night. I don't really get why people ask things like, when are you gonna go to Disneyland? Like, if you search for Tokyo Disneyland, I'm sure there's like hundreds of videos on YouTube. So, don't really see why, why I should go there. <laughs> Do you reveal half your face at 500 euros? Probably. I reveal half my face quite often, actually. I reveal half my face on uh, my last live stream. So that happens quite often, but all of it hasn't happened yet. Hasn't happened yet. You had Disney Plus on the TV at home? No. Not. I don't watch TV. And even if I did, Disney Plus would probably be pretty low on my list of priorities of things to watch. So I think we can see Koenji Station over there. the tea experience is great wherever you stream okay fair enough that's that's a legit reason i guess i love this
Just give me a moment. I think I want the street corner too. The laundry and the post box. See, that's what I like about these neighborhoods. The, the mix between new and old and the fact that it has a lot of character. like an old oh, I got an old sweets and uh, toy shop I guess shall I ask if I can show it to you Thank you. <laughs> was a very old lady who ran that place and she probably would not understand if I tried to explain what I'm doing. Here's another beautiful building. This place is somewhat famous. It's actually a uh, natto, natto vending machine. I wonder if fungus is here. They have like natto soup, natto beans. It's a bit empty right now, but yeah, if you ever want to buy natto from a vending machine, then all you need to do is to come to Koenji. Hey George, I like that idea. Please go ahead. Invite people. Sorry, I'm just so busy taking photos right now. That's why I'm so quiet. Seems very close to 100K. Yeah, that's right. Maybe I should have added that as well. Face reveal at 1000 simultaneous viewers or 100K subs. Should I add that as a condition? What do you say? K is also pretty good, um, good milestone. Then I will get that fancy little thing sent from YouTube as well. Do you want to house an hour? Oh, there's another new coffee shop that I haven't seen before. Coffee book philosophy talk. Nice combination. Unfortunately, close. I think we, we talked about that a few days ago, right? That it's one of the most common English mis mistakes you can see in Japan. That sign says, shop sign says close instead of closed. That D is apparently very, very difficult.
here is also a pretty nice little place actually this b and a it's a it's a tiny little hotel i think they only have like two or three rooms and uh, then there's also a bar on the bottom floor and a live venue in the basement pretty cool place there's another wow the number of new coffee shops i haven't been to koenji for a long time here's another whim coffee stand at least these people knew to put the D. These paintings are some scenes from the KONG Awodori, which is a very, very interesting dance festival that happens once a year. I think it's, it's the biggest Awodori festival in Tokyo. Uh, there's a bigger one in uh, Tokushima. I believe, but yeah, if you ever have the chance, I highly recommend that you check it out. I've been a couple of times and I've always had a great time. Is it just me or does the colors look a tiny bit more vivid than usual today? I don't know if it's the light or if it's... They did some updates to the app or the camera. So, Koenji Station is here anyway. It's just a train arriving. So, the first station we're passing today. There will be... let's see how many more. Uh, if I'm gonna make it all the way to Kichoji, um, there will be this Koenji now, then there's Asakaya, Okikubo, Nishi Okikubo, and Kichoji. The stops here are actually a little bit far between, so it's not so many. Interesting. Yeah, you say that the colors look more vivid. It's interesting. I didn't change any setting or anything like that. So I wonder why. Oh wow! They tore down. There used to be this long, build, narrow building here under the train tracks. It's been torn down. Uh, they're probably gonna build something new instead. But it's a little bit sad because I always enjoy. Uh, this uh, area. Some of the shops are still here on this side, but left side is all torn down. guess that these the, the days are probably numbered for these shops as well then wouldn't be surprised if they're gonna renovate everything because I mean yeah I love old streets like this but this is pretty old and probably neither that safe nor sanitary so tearing it down and rebuilding it makes sense in that from that standpoint I guess dark here so I changed to the main camera I want to see what they did here because there used to be lots of yakitori restaurants and I always loved coming here you can sit outside on some of the places okay this is still here these yakitori shops are also still here. Okay, that's that's good. 
but yeah, I wouldn't be too surprised if they end up turning it down sooner rather than later as well. Anyway, let's continue to the west. Let's continue past Koenji and towards Asagaya, I believe is the next stop. Should I take this street or no? Let's walk under the tracks. That's that's more, more exciting, isn't it? This might be my last chance to walk here because yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if next time I come here, these buildings will be gone as well. Uh oh. Signal's not great here, so let's head back out. Signal was not very happy under the train tracks, so uh, I hope that we are still rolling. Yeah, it's recovering now. Okay, good. Most important is that it doesn't get interrupted. Yeah, we're still going. Okay, that's good. Thanks, Jenny. Yeah, I'm not too surprised that the signal was not super strong under <laughs> the train tracks. Uh, you can actually walk under the train tracks for quite a long time here, but I guess I should not do that then. Um, even though I think it's a little bit less dense here and probably safe, but it's also a little bit more boring here. So uh, I'll just walk on the side streets instead. And as you can see, these uh, side streets are always very, very maze-like. There are lots of dead end. So, you can probably expect that I'll get lost sooner rather than later. already been walking for 45 minutes battery is at 77 percent so a third of the battery is gone which means that we should have like yeah an hour and a half or a little bit more than that remaining Now we are in Koenji still. Koenji, just west of Koenji station. Coffee and cake, Black Mountain. Here's a very nice little cafe slash bookstore. McDonald's coffee, maybe it's a bar as well. It's a very nice little place. Saito, thank 
Electricity Service. Saito's Electricity Service. But yeah, I, I, someone said that the side streets around here are very nice and I totally agree. That's why I like this area so much. And it's basically like that through a very large portion of the Chua line. The neighborhoods are pretty much like this. Lots of mixed use, lots of smaller low-rise buildings. Yeah, Jeffrey, Koenji, highly recommend it. Although it would be nice if you moved to Jugaoka because then you would live close to me. I think this is kind of where the ONG, like the area that has a little bit of hustle and bustle and Shotengai, that kind of ends here. Now it's gonna be pretty residential again for a while until we reach Asagaya, which is not terribly far away though. And Jeffrey, sorry, I didn't get back to you on Twitter yet, but I will soon. I'm very happy to hear that you like my idea. Hello everyone, hello Rockaway Siren, welcome. We are now in Koenji, which is a neighborhood that I think you would like. Jugaoka, if you compare Jugaoka and Koenji, I would say Jugaoka is a little bit more, a little bit more posh, a little bit more sophisticated, whereas Koenji is more like, more punk, more punk and a little bit younger. So pick your poison, I guess. Both are great areas though. I like areas that are a mix of Shaw and Heisei. I see, yeah. Many areas are. Double mirrors in both directions. You can't escape the, the face reveal. <laughs> always residential areas this time of the day very quiet very peaceful see on fish islands no not fish i the ultra wide yes which i do use quite a lot on my iphone It's actually getting a bit warm. Hmm. Am I right? Did I still just get it's been an hour and only one super chat? Hmm. Nice tree. Pine tree. Greetings from Mexico. Greetings, Ivan. I hope 
one day you and your wife will be able to visit Japan. Really hope you can do it. It's a place worth visiting at least once in your life. Welcome back, Rumi. Rumi, where is it? Ah, Jenny, thank you. Coffee break time. Yes. I think in Asagaya I will try to get a coffee. Do a little coffee break. Someone asked if kids are allowed to walk by themselves home from school. Yeah, I guess it depends on the age, but I think in Japan, in general, parents let their kids walk home at a pretty early age because it's pretty safe here. Thank you, Tracy. Super chat. Thank you very much. Ooh, that's an ambitious Halloween decoration. ご苦労様です。ありがとうございます。Wow. <laughs> Tiny little plot of land, but I'm pretty sure that they're building another home on this tiny, tiny piece of land. If anyone is interested in a grave, here you can get 0.1 square meters for 980,000 yen. A bargain. Less than a square meter, less than a million yen. Wait, for some reason I felt compelled to walk down this little street here. Three hundred sixteen viewers. So, what does that mean? Six hundred eighty-four more for the face reveal. <laughs> it's another very nice facade. Lots of flower pots and cracks in the wall. What's this place? Suginamiku. So, okay. I don't know what this place is, but at least we are in Asagaya Kita Ichome. So we are now in Asagaya. So, this looks kind of new. I don't think I've seen this place before. New little, maybe some sort of community center. There's a cafe in there too. Well, cafes in those kind of community center places tend to be pretty bland and boring, but hmm, decent playground. And uh, I guess some paintings. Oh, interesting. Am 
I lost, not really lost. I mean, the train tracks are there and they are a very good source of figuring out. I'm not lost, but I'm also walking pretty unfamiliar streets right now. So either I have never walked here before or it has changed. place where it looks like the signal is a little bit unstable. Jonks, jonks. Looks like it's already getting better though. What does my Apple Watch tell me? It says that I've been walking for how many kilometers so far? Walked four kilometers and the shortest route to get to Kichiyoji was eight and a half. So almost halfway there, although I'm kind of taking quite a bit of a detour right now. So. Uh -huh. Probably need a, like 10k in order to get there at least. What's this? <laughs> Eine bitte. Eine bitte. <laughs> I love all the shops with funny names that we see here in Japan. Pretty sure we're at the outskirts of the, like near the end of the Shotegai Nasakaya. Signal around here is not great though. Alice. Yeah, I stream at 10,000 kilobits per second now, but the current bitrate is only 2,000, so only a fifth of the bandwidth that I ideally want is currently available. So I can imagine that the image quality is not great, maybe, but it should recover soon. I, I expect it to get better once we get closer to the station. I thought it was a weird vending machine, but it's probably just... Oh, maybe it is. Yeah, it is a, a vending machine where you can buy Korean food. Mmm, kimbap. Chop chip. Mmm. Getting hungry.
closer to Asagaya. That's Asagaya Station over there. One of the exits. Looks like they built lots of new shops here too under the train tracks. They really, especially JR, they are really like starting to repurpose a lot of their uh, of the space under the train tracks all over Tokyo maybe other cities too I'm not sure here's a very nice retro-ish shorten guy as well probably won't walk through it because it's not really the right direction for me right now but uh, Definitely, if you're coming to Asagaya for whatever reason, I do recommend that you stroll, take a stroll here too. I will just have a quick look. And we just passed the one hour mark. Three hour, 300 people walking with me today. Thank you, everybody. What is your camera? Uh, read the video description and you shall find out. So yeah, this shooting guy goes on for a pretty long way, but uh, I'm not gonna walk that direction. I will continue my adventure along the train tracks. Asagaya is another very nice neighborhood and uh, I think quite cheap as well. Uh, it used to be quite cheap but around here at least. I'm, I'm not sure, it might have changed now but back in the days Asagaya was popular among many of my friends because it was very affordable to, to get a place here. Yes, Asaga is also known for, for having lots of connections with uh, anime and manga. I don't really know those details very well, but I think a lot of... There used to be many manga or anime studios in this area. That's what I've been told. Uh, I'm sure there are someone in the chat who knows more about that and can explain it in a little bit more detail maybe. Yeah, you can rent an entire house for 180,000 yen a month. 67 square meters. Probably quite old house though, I would guess, because that's, that's quite cheap. Hey Jeffrey, good night, sleep tight, and thanks for stopping by today. This is another area which is wonderful at night. Nice lights and pizza, 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 and face reveal.
can see all the shops on this little street. Yeah, I want to come back here. I want to do a night photo shoot in this area. Actually, as I mentioned on a few of my streams, I, I have my little portrait business, right? I'm actually getting a lot of booking requests now. It's a, it's a very nice little surprise. So that's good. I think just only yesterday I got like four or five bookings, which is probably a new record. I don't think I've ever gotten that money in one day. But uh, I think it's a good sign for things to come maybe. If you are interested in booking me for a photo session or a tour when you're coming to Japan, uh, you can contact me. Contact me through Twitter or you can contact me through Instagram or you can send me an email. My email address is on the, this channel's about page. Then I will be happy to tell you more. this so the next stop is Ogikubo right check live walking tour with tea yes indeed that can that can be done very much live and direct or in person even if you want just contact me thank you mechanical lamb for the super chat thank you thank you thank you i'm just checking okay now i'm five point three kilometers away from Kichijoji. So I am um, Yeah. I still think it can be done. But maybe I should be a little bit more focused on not detouring too much. And I should also mention, in case some of you did not know, that this is a beautiful cone. No, I should mention that it is thanks to people like Mechanical Lamb and Jenny and everybody else who have donated through the Super Chat. It's thanks to people like them, as well as my supporters through Patreon, that I can bring you all these walks. Without a little bit of financial support, I would have to do something more profitable with my time. Thanks to the support I'm getting, I can take on all these walks. So if you are one of the people who enjoy joining me on the streets of Tokyo like this, please consider uh, becoming a part of my Patreon crew. Because we do a lot of fun stuff together. The link is in the video description. Thank you, Ivan Navarro. Thank you so much. Some Mexican... Mexican dollars? Is that what the currency is called in Mexico? I guess so. Thank you. Sixty-five percent battery left. So yeah, I should also maybe walk a little bit faster and more towards the the goal in order to make it there before the battery runs out. Pesos. Okay, that's what I thought about Mexico, right? But it had a dollar sign, so that's kind of made me a little bit confused. 
Now from Portland. Hello, Portland. We have viewers from all the world, which is one of the reasons why I enjoy this so much. Speed walking, yeah. After all, one of the reasons why I keep doing this is also to get some exercise. So I guess the faster I walk, the more calories I will burn, right? That's how it works, right? Oh, it smells strongly of paint. Someone's painting their house, I guess. get lost easily in these neighborhoods so do I <laughs> so do I my regular viewers knows that getting lost is one of the things that happens very often on this channel thirty five percent battery used in an hour and ten minutes yep so it's not too bad it is not as good as when I was streaming in thirty frames per second but I think the the increased image quality is definitely worth the extra battery drain. As long as I can walk three hours without charge, then I think I don't really need more than that most days. tempted to walk down here but I think I probably stay outside for signal stability reasons yes I do need a drink break soon I do maybe it will happen in Ogikubo which is the next stop on the line. of pretty tiny old looking houses around here. signal is fluctuating a little bit but fingers crossed that it won't get too bad so yeah we are on our way oh watches and collectibles such a random location for a shop like that see that's one of the things that I love about doing this these random neighborhoods in Tokyo and you always stumble across nice tiny little local shops like that and of course my favorite is when I find a new little coffee shop that makes me happy but it just never gets old it never gets boring 
367 people seem to agree because that's how many were walking with me right now. That's a good number. But it's not even halfway to the face reveal, which will happen at a thousand viewers at the same time. So, oh, train tracks are over there. So we are definitely walking in the right direction. And here it looks like there might be either a little park or maybe, could it even be, oh yeah, it's just a tiny, tiny little park. Not terribly sad. I would say a three out of five, but I think I will actually use this little public restroom here because I really need to pee. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Um, can you wait a few minutes? I will switch off the sound and the camera for sanitary reasons. I'll be back with you in two minutes. Bye bye. Okay, thank you for your patience. Thank you for letting me... Uh, how, do you say, how should I say? I don't know. Sorry about that little interruption, but... <laughs> I just had to. It was such, an, such a good location for a little toilet break. Yeah, I wish there was some like uh, intermission music or something that I could switch switch on, but uh, sorry, I don't know how to do that in Prism, the streaming software that I use. <laughs> Please post a waterfall photo, <laughs> good idea. Good idea. Wow, I lost a hundred viewers for taking a two minute pee break. You guys are really, really strict. Strict and impatient. Yeah, I wish I was as tech savvy as Virtual Japan. He built his own streaming software so he can make things exactly the way he wants it. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have that ability. So I'm afraid you have to do with the black screen and silence whenever I go to the bathroom. very close to the Chuo line, which is the entire point of this series. To follow the Chuo line train tracks from Tokyo Station to Takao. Takao is, of course, a famous mountain 
in the western outskirts of Tokyo and that's where we are heading but uh, it's a pretty long walk and we won't make it all the way there today but uh, uh, yeah I think last time I did it it was like six or seven episodes so this is the third one today if this nice weather it looks like we're gonna have nice weather now for a while so if that holds up I hope to reach Takao maybe sometime next week better take a bike well this is a walking channel of course, if it was just about getting there as quickly as possible, I would take the train, but uh, yeah. This channel is about walking. And of course, this channel is also about cones. And here I see another beautiful example of a cone in the wild. Someone asked if a one room apartment would be around here. It really depends on the size, the distance from the station and the age of the building. But I saw, we did pass one real estate agent not too long ago. And I saw some apartments which were just like 40, 50,000 yen. But I would guess that those are very old and very far from the station. Would a helicopter be faster to get there than a train? I think so, probably. Probably. I haven't seen a streamer take Rosen Basu. Ah, there's a few bus uh, bus videos on my channel. Maybe not, not sure if I did it when I'm streaming, but there's also a bunch of pre-recorded videos on my channel and uh, that includes a few bus rides actually. So uh, I think if you search on my channel for Tokyo bus ride or something like that, you should be able to find those. When's your next plan walk? I don't know, but I might be traveling somewhere in the beginning of November, like around November 1st. It's gonna be a little job trip, but uh, hopefully I will have time to also do a stream uh, from one area of Japan that I know that a lot of people are very interested in. I don't wanna tell you more than that, but happens it will be a nice surprise for you I hope I hope it's Okinawa well I think I already revealed that I'm going to Okinawa in December so Okinawa is coming too but it seems I might go on another trip a little sooner than that Oh, here you can see some prices, but this is for this is for newly built houses. If you want to buy a house around here, no, this is okay. This is not new. This is a this is a renovated one. Uh, this is new, newly built house, three-story house. So 84 million yen, if you want to buy a house, and that was 
Oh, that's 15 minutes away from Koenji, so quite far. Quite far from the station. I did a live bus ride as part of heading home from a mountain. One. That's right, Jenny. Wow, you have such a great memory. That's right. I went to Mitake-san. And I think I took the ropeway as well, right? And also a bus ride. Yeah. Impressive that you remember that. I almost forgot. Will I do island hopping when in Okinawa? Mm, not sure, because it's, it's going to be a family trip. And uh, since we have a small child, it's a little bit difficult to do things like that. So we will mostly at least be staying on the main island, but maybe we will also visit some, some of the smaller islands. So where am I now? I should be getting close. I think that's Ogikubo Station down there. Yeah, Ogikubo Ekimae Shotengai, it says. あ、どうもどうも。あ、そうですか。今見てたんで。あ、そうですか。今見てたんで。あ、そうですか。あ、本当に。あ、ありがとうございます。あの。ちょっと。はい。結構裏道行くじゃないですか。そうですね。よく行
I think maybe here? No? Or not Shotengai, but this nice little covered... No, kind of, yeah, I think it's here. I think it's here. And this place used to have a lovely kissaten. I'm just curious to see if that place is still around. Still here, but not open today. Hmm. I hope it's still the same owner too. It was last time I came here. It was like this very very old lady place, and um, yeah, I think she was well in her eighties at least. Lots of nice restaurants here too. Well, I'm getting really hungry. But let's hurry. <laughs> let's continue. One more stop. That will be Kichiyoji. And that means that we have achieved what I set out to do today. And I can celebrate with maybe a nice lunch or something. <laughs> Get recognized by my shorts. Whoa. It's a jeans day today, so I don't think it was the shorts that revealed me. Anyway, thank you viewer for coming up and for giving me a drink. I really appreciate that. All right, next is Nishiogiku. That's right. I always forget that that st st station exists, but that's right. There's Nishiogiku and then Kichiyoji. Maybe I can even get something to eat and uh, have it in Inokashira Kōr, the nice park which we will walk through. Let's hope that the signal will survive this very very narrow alley. With the bikes, bicycle parking lot. I'm really glad, really happy whenever people come up to me like that. It, it made my day. Nomimono arigato gozaimasu, viewer-san. We survived, yeah, we did survive that little alley. Great, great stuff. Great stuff. One hour and 35 minutes walk, battery at 52% right now. Oh, do you guys hear what I hear? Do you guys hear what I hear? My first Yobikomikun spotting since coming back to Japan. Great! Okay, now two good things have happened on this walk so far. I met a viewer, I got a drink, and we could hear the best song in the world. Wonderful, wonderful. It's not donkey though, like 
you guys always associate that song with, song with Don, Don Quixote, but actually I would say the most common place where I hear it is uh, actually at drugstores. Uh, they often have it. Don Quixote is kind of like, they sometimes have it, but uh, yeah. Coffee shop since 1978. Tempting, but not for me right now. Uh, I did not know there is a camera no Sakuraya, a camera store here. Didn't know that. I should check it out sometime. like a nice shrine. Let's take a quick little look here. green and lush. Imagine five years all day walk still can cover up all. Yeah, that's the great thing about Tokyo. It will never stop surprising you. You will never discover all the amazing things this city has to offer. itself not terribly interesting but uh, I must say that I like this I don't know if I've seen this one before it's an unusual way to do this water dispensing thingy Yeah, the approach to the shrine was very nice. So let's let's go back. <laughs> oh wait, I did want a photo of that cat with the crystal ball, but it looks like my my camera misfocused. Let's let's do it again then. There we go. Now we got it in focus. Temple. No, not temple. Shrine. Very different. What's the net for? Yeah, I don't know. Could be to prevent birds. Could also be like a COVID thing that they only want people to use it from like one direction and without getting too close to each other so that people can line up properly. I don't know.
Brandon, thank you. Glad that we're continuing the mega walk. Yeah, so am I. Finally. Had to wait for so long because of the weather. Finally, today, we are continuing this adventure. Three hour walk. No, I don't think so. Maybe two and a half tops. I will walk to Kichiyoji, which is two more stops. But uh, if I find a nice place where I can buy a bento, then I might do the lunch on camera as well. Or maybe I will do a Patreon only uh, lunch. Let me think about it. Hakusan Jinja. I see. Thank you, Yamaguchi-san. Ah, that's why it says Hakusan here, too. Hmm, I wonder if I'm able to continue here. It looks like Maybe not. Maybe I have to circle around. Well, lots of traffic here. Let's see. Well, this is only about vehicles that you can't drive through here, but can I walk through here? I don't know. There's a little path here. Oh, great. So it looks like I can walk. Yeah, here I can walk. Okay, perfect. I'm here, just following the train tracks. Slightly creepy little tunnel here under the train tracks, but I think I can just continue walking here. for my little toilet break. Kamiogi Homachidori. Three point four kilometers away from Kichiyoji.
500 face reveal with mask on. Well, like I said, I do that quite often. I did it in my last live stream. You got a good face reveal with mask on. So that's not really a big deal. It will probably happen again soon. Maybe even with less than 500 viewers. But for the real deal, 1000 viewers is the goal. Let's see if we will ever get there. What's this? Okay, shop with drink. Ice coffee, banana juice. But you need to know this order. Yeah, there's been several reflection reveals already today, absolutely. But the one in my last stream was uh, unusually clear and close up. So if you're interested, you can try to spot that, maybe. Oh, laundry and cafe. It's an interesting combination. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry. You know about the mega brawl? Not really. I saw that. I read the news. I heard about it in Ikebukuro, right? But uh, yeah, don't know anything more than that. childhood goal was to get to school and college in Japan and live in Japan but reality speaks differently hmm yeah it was my childhood goal as well when I was a teenager playing lots of Japanese video games I was dreaming about one day I shall live in Japan and I should learn to speak the language and look at me now look at me now going on walks on YouTube with 328 people. like we are crossing a little river. Yes, a little river, which looks kind of dirty. Don't see many fish. I wonder which river this is. It could maybe be. No. Can it be Kanda River? I'm not sure. Let's maybe cross here. Let's walk on the other side of the train tracks for a little while. A week ago, Yamaguchi san. Naruhodo. It's a nice area. Wow. 
recycling plant here. Suginamiku recycling plant maybe. Ah, Zenbuki River maybe, yeah, that makes that that that's probably right. That river, in that case, that river leads into a very, very nice park if you go a little bit further south from here. One of my favorite parks in Tokyo. And one that I don't think that I've walked yet on this channel, but I should. One day I should take you to that park. Lunchtime, Lani restaurant and cafe. Should I do a lunch break outside? I could actually probably eat here. It's Persian food. Sounds interesting. Let's see if I can if I can eat that. Yeah, okay. So hopefully you know by now that things and plans change quickly on my channel. Uh, so yeah. I'll launch. In the meantime, I will charge my phone, charge the battery. I hope you approve of that idea. But it's not very often I come across Persian food in uh, Tokyo. I can't say it's something I look for very actively either, but it's actually something I do really, really enjoy. So uh, let's Persian food. Yeah, glass table. Potential is high for some accidental face reveal. <laughs> Face reveal isn't gonna happen, is it? It will absolutely 100% guaranteed happen if we reach a thousand viewers at the same time. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen today, but this challenge will go on for a while and hopefully we will get there sooner or later. some chicken with uh, saffron rice although the kebab looks very tempting too Sorry, I'm a little bit quiet because I'm, I'm still trying to figure out what to eat. Um, Get a little bit of 
a water break. <laughs> I haven't really been drinking much during today's stream. So it's gonna probably take a little while, this lunch break. So I expect a lot of viewers to probably disappear, but um, I will try to be quite focused on the chat. So if you have something you wanna talk about or ask me or ever, whatever, uh, please go ahead. And I hope it's not too noisy. We are kind of next to a pretty big junction and then there's also the trains overhead. So it's a little bit noisy here, but I hope I will try to speak up as much as I can. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully you can hear me. Have I tried Zakuro in Yanaka? I have. It's That's not really Persian though. It's That's uh, Turkish or Kurdish. Uh, but it's a fun place. The owner is crazy. Uh, I've been there. I've been there with my mom actually when she came to Japan many years ago. We went there. And that time he offered those of us brave enough uh, we could try some lamb's brain which um, I I am not brave enough to eat that I think the idea of I don't know I, I can eat a lot of things but the idea of eating brain is super disgusting for me so that's that's one taboo uh, that I can't really deal with but uh, yeah anyway it's a fun place definitely Yari you will stay of course you will I know that you will stay have you gone to Suzuka for the Formula One racetrack no uh, I have not I am not interested in Formula One I am afraid Show the menu, says Rockaway Siren. Okay, of course, of course. I will. So, there you go. I was kind of debating between these two. This is chicken with saffron rice, or this is just like some kebabs with spicy tomato sauce. And I ended up going for this one. Yeah, the, the, the owner of Sakuro is really weird. He's a bit of a show person. <laughs> I like him. He's funny. He actually... I've been there a couple of times throughout the years. And one time I was there on a date. This was long before I met my current wife. Or my, my wife. Uh, but I was there on a date many, many years ago. And that time he, he told me to wear a silly fez and climb up. They have this big, big stuffed um, camel in the shop. So he told me to wear a fez and some other silly clothes and sit on top of that stuffed camel. And then he made some jokes about me being Lawrence from Arabia. It was fun. Ice coffee time. Uh, yes, fungus, launch stream. Uh, you missed, we actually passed a natto vending machine on today's stream. You missed that. Sorry. And uh, I'm not gonna have natto nor kimchi for lunch. Sorry about that as well. I hope you will still, uh, that you will still love me. Please, please love me. Yes, that's right, <laughs> Yamaguchi-san. I went to Suzuka Mori recently, but not Suzuka. But I was in Suzuka Mori just a few days ago. Not the vending machine, yeah. Uh, rewind a little bit. Thank you. 
you can rewind a little bit. Uh, it's maybe five or ten minutes before I pass Koenji Station. It's on one of those shopping streets close to Koenji Station, but before I reach the actual station. Does that mean that you look like Peter O'Toole? Uh, I must admit that I don't know who that is or what he looks like, but maybe. <laughs> is there a cuisine that you've never tried and is interested in trying? Hmm. Hmm, that's a good question. I can't think of anything right now, but in general, like, I always enjoy trying food from places that are exotic to me. So one area where, which I would love to, to uh, have the chance to sample the food from would be like Central Asia in general. I think I've had a few bits and pieces and it's been, it was really, really tasty. But, uh, yeah. Mm. That would be... Uh, that's what comes to mind. And then maybe also, like, it would be interesting to try, uh, like, food from really, really northern latitudes. Like, Inuit food. People living close to the polar circle or above close to the polar region it would be interesting to try some of their I don't imagine it being very tasty to be honest but it would be interesting to try the kind of stuff that they've been you know having and they've been able to survive in those extremely harsh conditions through generations um, so that could be interesting too Hong Kong style. Oh, I've had that. Uh, the smelly tofu, right? Yeah, yeah. I've had that. It's it's okay. It's okay. I think this natto vending machine that I'm talking about. I think there's one of those in uh, Shimokitazawa as well. It's it's a shop. It's a natto shop. Uh, but they also have this vending machine outside where you can buy some of their products even outside their regular shop hours. Uh, two years ago that you were in Morocco. Yes, that's right. I love Moroccan food. Um, I love Moroccan food. It's super tasty. Have you tried Nasi Lemak? No. I don't think so. What's that? stumble across places like this where it's like where I can eat and it's super easy to yeah, not offend anyone you know, I'm streaming when I'm eating it's this outdoor seating area and I'm the only one here so it's great for me I don't know if it's gonna be become more crowded soon but I don't think so Malaysia 
Asian rice salad. Ah, that sounds good. Sounds good. I haven't tried it, but I definitely would. Is nasi in nasi lemak the same as nasi as in nasi goreng? Coconut rice, fried crispy sardines, peanut sambal sauce, and fried onion. Mmm, that sounds that sounds delicious. craving a, a bit of caffeine. <clears throat> Nasi's rice, I see. I see. It's all starting to make sense to me now. Not a lot of YouTubers do what you do for the country they live in. It's unique. Oh yeah, you think so? Thank you. I think that I think that's, that's a compliment. But I think that there are a lot of um, YouTubers in Japan, at least doing kind of similar things to me. Even though maybe not exactly the same, but choto, choto similar. I first found out about Takao thanks to your videos. I considered moving there before COVID. It's such a great mix of city and suburb with nature. Yes, great. I'm happy to hear that I was, I've been able to introduce it to you. It's a great area. I, I would, I don't know if I wanted to live there permanently. It's a little bit too far away from central Tokyo, considering that I'm so dependent on being close to central Tokyo for a big part of my work. But I would love to have like a, a summer house or like a just a small extra apartment or something near Takao and spend the weekends there or you know every now and then it's it's a really nice area I agree I agree brought some similar channels but yours is the best of the bunch thank you very much EJ Thank you very much. I appreciate your kind words. I appreciate the minimalism. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think, I guess I have my own little special vibe. I mean, basically, what I'm doing is like just what I would do anyway. I like just going walks and uh, the fact that hundreds of people are joining me. Looks good, eh? <laughs> so, itadakimasu. I will try to talk to you a little bit between my bites, but um, right now, focus is on eating. <laughs> Let's see how many viewers we lose during my lunch break. I'm surprised it's still over 300 people. Uh, you're with me. Good 
plan on doing travel videos around Kanazawa? Uh, no, I don't plan to do that. Uh, it's a bit too far. I don't have any business there. Takao is too close to Tokyo for summer house, but that's the great thing. You know, if it's like further away, like. Yeah, I want it to be close, like within an hour from where I live now, or maybe 90 minutes at most. Uh, and ideally not too expensive to get there. If it's somewhere where I have to take Shinkansen, then it's gonna be so expensive to go back and forth. So then I wouldn't do it as often. But, um, so yeah, Takao, Izu Peninsula would be nice to Miura Peninsula. Those are areas that I think would suit me for second second home Him, but I guess he's still just doing gaming videos, right? Um, that can be done from anywhere. Chris is really sharing bits and pieces from his life in Japan. Which is a completely different ball game. I stumbled across a restaurant like this. When I was a child, one of my best friends was um, uh, from Iran. My parents. He was born in, in Sweden, but his parents had moved to Sweden from Iran. And so every time I was there, they always gave me like whenever we had we ate together there it was always so delicious yeah karuizawa is too far for me mm. and also i've been to karuizawa i think it's a pretty boring place actually um, too boring and too posh for me. So I would definitely prefer Izu or Miura. But even like, yeah, you know, like I said, Takao or the mountains rest west of Takao, like Sagamiko. Those kind of laid-back old resort towns which are pretty sleepy right now but I like them a lot I don't know like, I, mean, I haven't watched PewDiePie never but the small bits and pieces I've seen of him hasn't really encouraged me to watch more. It's not my style. Obviously very popular, no? I remember when he was making headlines as the biggest, biggest YouTuber he was for a while, wasn't he? Maybe still is. We plan to offer your services as Airbnb experiences as well. Um, not. I've actually been posting a few things as Airbnb experiences. I'm not sure if they're still up there. Probably not. But no. Not really. The reason is, I feel that on Airbnb, there's such a downward 
price competition. Everything is so cheap. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I have my own channels and I'd rather promote my services through those. Also, Airbnb takes a, look, um, a pretty big cut. Yeah, I guess it it might be a good thing if you want to do something a lot, like if you want to have clients like every day, several times every day, and you have some sort of cheap service, then maybe it works. But for me, I'd rather have just like a couple of times every week. And uh, yeah, people who don't just go for the cheapest thing out there. Why do you not show your face? Because I like to keep my privacy. Or at least that used to be the case when I started doing this. I was quite concerned about that. done. I eat pretty quickly I think. Especially when I know that you're all waiting and I'm kind of rushing. Yeah, the easiest way to get a chance to see my face is to subscribe to my Patreon. That's right. That's right. I've been showing my face for ages on Patreon. To my most devoted fans and supporters. Ochiso sama deshita. Finished it. and um, then I'll get going. How much was this? I think it was a little bit over a thousand yen. I think a thousand yen for the main dish and then a little bit, maybe a couple of hundred yen extra for the salad. I'm not sure if coffee was included either. I shall soon find out. I'll leave the camera here because Japan is so safe. I will leave the camera on the table when I go inside and paint. Hopefully, no one will come and steal it. That would be a bummer.
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. And let's see. So I managed to bump up the battery a little bit. Now it's at 70% again. So that should definitely be enough to take us to Kichiyoji. Okay. Okay, so let's go. We're still over 300 euros, great. Not so many left me during this lunch break. Thank you, thank you for your patience. And uh, thank you for your company as well. Up again, see how far away we are now. Two point nine kilometers, thirty seven minutes, according to Google Maps. I'm planning on going to Takao on my upcoming trip. Yes, you should, especially during fall. I mean, the thing, Takao is, I have a similar attitude towards Takao as I do with Enoshima. Like, it could easily be dismissed as very touristy and the most low-hanging fruit when it comes to day trips. But still, like, it's really nice and beautiful. And as long as you go on a weekday, then I think it's super nice. On the weekends, it tend to be way too crowded. For my liking but uh, definitely um, yeah definitely go there on a weekday and uh, you can have a great experience what if a non-patreon viewer would like to order your service would you uh, would you give him the link to your website yes i do if it's a serious looking request then uh, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm currently debating if I should just post a link to it in my, in the YouTube description already. Because I think a lot of people would be interested. And I think it would also be a good thing for my business. But yeah, I do get requests quite often and then I tend to share my website with people. Wait, you walk from Tokyo to Takao? Yes, I walk from Tokyo to Takao. I've done it before and I'm doing it again. I did it a year and a half ago and now I'm doing it for the second time. Not in one go though, that's a little bit too far for me, but uh, divided over six, seven episodes, I uh, can make it all the way to Takao. Funny how like the number of viewers stayed around 300 during my entire lunch break, but then as soon as I was done with lunch and started walking again, it dropped. <laughs> but I do actually from my previous walk as well I do remember this area being a little bit this this section was a little bit boring I think after Kichiyoji then it gets like 
interesting again. <laughs> it would feel like cheating now trying to find out via Google who Tokyo Explorer is. Yeah, it's a little bit like cheating. <laughs> and to be honest, it's 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 not very hard. It's not very hard. It's not like I've been trying my best to stay as secret as possible. Like I think if people are that eager to figure out who I am then so be it. <laughs> Hey Robert Smith, good night. Robert Smith, isn't that the name of the singer in the singer in the Cure? Isn't his name also Robert Smith? Or maybe it's you. Maybe it's you. If so, thank you. I've been a fan. I've been a fan since I was a teenager watching MTV. Back home in Sweden. Why is this house looks like a bird? That has to be intentional, right? Birdhouse, the crying bird. You walk so fast. Not really. It looks fast because I'm shooting with a wide-angle lens, but uh, my walking pace is not that, not that fast. Especially if I walk really close to something, like now, then it looks like I'm walking super fast, right? That's just the magic of wide-angle lens. Ah, <laughs> Dragon Guard. I see. It's, I'm happy when people say that they find my channel thanks to Rambalak. That's... That's... Uh, yeah, I take that as a sign of uh, my channel having a decent quality. Because Rambalak is the best in terms of quality walking videos from Japan. So if you haven't checked out Rambalak's channel, then you're really missing out. But I'm pretty sure that most of my viewers already know Rambalak, right? I think we are getting very close to Nishiogi. Nishiogi kita. Oh, 
classes. Thank you, Dragon Guard. I'm happy to hear that most of the people who are long-time viewers of my channel, you all seem to enjoy the fact that I'm talking and uh, that we're having this conversation together as we're doing my walks. I think that's yeah, that's my my little special speciality. And I enjoy it too. It's so much more fun to do it like this rather than to just walk around silently uh, recording videos, which I used to do before I started doing live streams. But uh, yeah, this is way more fun. See, we are very close to the train tracks, and I think we are also very close to the Shiogikubo station. We can make three hours, yeah. Looks like today's walk turned out longer than expected, but it's because I, I managed to squeeze in my lunch break during the stream, so that's good because, yeah. As you, some of you know, I have my my day job, so uh, I have other other things to do. I can't just stream all the time. I have other duties. You are hypnotized by my voice. Wonderful, wonderful. Happy to hear that. station. I'll see you through that rural Yokohama live stream. Ah! Jinkecho, probably. Yeah, I plan to go back there soon, actually. Uh, that area is super nice, and I want to go there again. It's this neighborhood. Not terribly far from where I live. I think it's like maybe 20 minutes or so by train. And it's like you walk from the station, and then after five minutes, it really feels like you're in the middle of the countryside like rice paddies and super quiet neighborhoods it's a really nice area I've been thinking about going back there for quite some time so Nishi Ogikubo the last stop before Kichijoji where I will end today's stream Actually, now I remember somewhere not too far away from here is a little jewelry shop where I actually got my wedding ring for my wife.
Here is like 45,000 yen room, 18.5 square meters, only for women. 35,000 yen per month, 14 square meters. So yeah, you can definitely live quite cheap here around here. Here's a nice little coffee shop. Tempted, but... Let's keep on walking for now. Takao is Hachioji, that's right. Takao, or I'm not sure. Hachioji is close to Takao, I'm not sure. I think Takao belongs technically to Hachioji, yeah. But I'm not 100% sure. That cheap, yeah, it is cheap. That's what I often say that Tokyo is cheap. People always think that Tokyo is expensive, but good luck finding a place, your own place, to rent for like $300 per month in New York or Paris or London. It's not gonna happen, but here in Tokyo, you can. Oh. <laughs> this is this is actually the place where where I got the rings. I'm gonna snap some photos here and send them away. Using the iPhone 14 Pro, it's written in the video description. Uh, yeah, three hundred dollars a month. That's about right. Yes, that's about how little you can rent an apartment for. Uh, granted, that's a very tiny place and it's very old, but still, the fact that you can get your own place for that kind of money. It's, uh, in my opinion, pretty remarkable. You're near Nishiogikubo. Yes, I just passed Nishiogikubo. Just passed Nishiogikubo. I always thought it would be around 60 to 70,000. Yeah, the, those like 30, 40,000 places is maybe not something I would recommend unless you're really on a tight budget or you don't really care about your living standard. But for like 70, 80,000, then you can uh, definitely find a decent place.
further closer to the tracks again. Well, my wife just messaged me. Looks like she's also thinking about getting a new phone and she's asking me like, do you recommend the iPhone 14 or the 14 Pro? And I was just replying pro exclamation mark because my wife also cares a lot about the camera and the camera is quite a bit better on the 14 pro but that's basically the only difference though so and it's the regular one has a good camera too but if you want the best camera then the pro is the way to go I'm getting the sun shining right into my eyes right now, so I can't read the chat. Uh, yeah, I hope she can find a pro, but it looks like it's still difficult to get. But I think beginning of November, it looks like stock will kind of stabilize a little bit and probably it shouldn't be so hard to find one. I can just walk here. Let me check the map. A little bit unsure where I should walk. Mm. Okay, looks like I should cross here and then turn right. And we should be on the right track. There's another lovely facade. This building has a lot of character. Would be lying if I said that I wanted to live there though. Uh, not this street, maybe next one. Oh, look, Com Parade. Ah, oh, now we're actually in Kichioji, Kichioji Minamimachi.
Google says we are 17 minutes away now. Walking a lot. I've been walking 8.8 .8 kilometers already today. anyone is interested in buying a big chunk of land I'm not sure if that one is for sale but at least it was empty here's a little park but since there's no playground I'm not gonna rate the sadness level Sora no ye is this a restaurant? what is this place? looks like a place where old people hang out and do things together. Sounds quite lively though, but I don't think it's, it's something for me. So what's the goal for today? So, as I mentioned probably 10 times throughout today's walk, the goal today is Kichijoji. I started at Nakano. So, Nakano to Kichiyoji, which is eight and a half kilometers on the shortest route, but I took quite a few detours, so for me it was longer than that. And then tomorrow, or I'm not sure if I will continue tomorrow actually. The thing is, this walk, these long walks, the logistics just to get to and from the starting and end point takes a lot of time. And as my time is a bit limited many weekdays, it's not always that easy for me to do this. But um, anyway, next walk could potentially be maybe Kichiyoji to Tachikawa or something like that. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm not sure. I honestly don't think I'll be able to do that tomorrow. Uh, I have quite a few things to do for my main job this week so yeah so if I could just teleport home after the walk it would be great but now it takes me like one hour to get to the starting point and then it takes me an hour to get home again afterwards so that means takes up a little bit too much of my available time. Oh, look at this abandoned whatever it is. I don't know exactly what, but I don't know that I like it. Technically, I only have four hours to spend on my YouTube channel every day. Thank you, Ticketeer, for the super chat. Hope your plans come together, T, but it's good to have you back. My GF and I enjoy watching you, and Sweden time zone didn't work for us. Great, thank you. Good to hear that you that you enjoy walking with me.
That's the train tracks over there. I don't know if you can see them, but I think once we reach the train tracks there, we should also be able to see Kijoji. Goal for today. Needs shade, yes. There's a true line train passing far in the distance. Clear sign that we are on the right way. electronic stop with a very charming facade. Last time you wrote, published an article? Uh, probably last week. I actually write a lot for my uh, main job, my, my regular job. Uh, it includes a lot of writing and it gets published uh, all the time too. But Sadly, it's not terribly interesting stuff. Uh, so, what I write is, um, yeah, it usually doesn't have my name on it due to the nature of the work I do. And uh, yeah, it's not something that most of you would be terribly interested in. But I am actually going to work on a photography related article relatively soon and when that's done and published I will share the link with my Patreon supporters if you want to check it out. I think that might be quite interesting for you. So we are getting close to Georgia Station. I'm not sure if I want to walk on this side. I should head over to the other side of the train tracks. Where are we currently? We are currently close to Kichioji Station. We are in Kichioji Honmachi. <laughs> Interesting sign. Adult. So you're going to do a coffee break. I did, uh, I did have a coffee during my lunch 30 minutes ago or so. So that was... That was my both lunch and coffee break, I'm afraid. So I will just walk up to Kichioji Station and then I will wave goodbye to you there. So no more, no sit down coffee break. I'm afraid. I don't know, Ji is temple, the last kanji is temple. Uh, the first one could mean like luck, I guess, yeah. But I don't know, I can't translate it. Did you actually meet up with coffee person again? No, I haven't met him since, uh, since uh, before going to Sweden. Some 
hot calorie. Calorie hero. Nice. It looks like they were between exhibitions though. Good luck, Fortune Temple. Thank you, you good son. Oh, there's the Asuza, which is a bit of a famous train. It goes from Tokyo to Matsumoto. We have some friends living in Matsumoto and, and then we, we go there from time to time and then we always take that train. It's not the super fast train as it runs on the same train. It should be three hours. But since I did have my lunch during the stream, it's, it's okay. Jenny, your favorite. Ah, did we have a bit of junks? It's too bad. What's this? A vending machine selling sponges we stumbled across quite a few weird vending machines today that was the first time ever i saw a sponge vending machine actually Place. I've been here. It's a pretty big and spacious cafe. Cafe Zenon. I think it has like some sort of comic theme. Fist of the North Star. Hokutoma Ken. A very manly man. I don't identify, identify much with him, to be honest. Good progress, Tokyo. Thank you, Daniel and Yuka. Thank you, thank you. Yes, made it to Kichioji. That's, that's a good walk. We lost a lot of viewers when we had that little hiccup. Oh well. Anyway, we are getting really, really close to the station, which means that we are getting really, really close to the end of today's stream. Um, so thanks a lot to everybody who joined me today, especially if there are some weirdos out there who stayed for the entire stream. Thank you. I really appreciate your company and um, I will most likely be back with another stream tomorrow. Maybe not 
the next part of this adventure. I'm not sure if I will have time for that tomorrow. Maybe it, I will have to do with something a little bit closer to my, my uh, home. But uh, regardless, I do hope that you will join and uh, I hope that we, you will continue to support me and my walks throughout the streets of Tokyo. Because without you, I am nothing. Without your support, I will be broke. So, <laughs> thank you so much for being a part of this little weird adventure on YouTube. Turning red! Oh no! Oh no! It's turning red! Oh no! I'm breaking the law! So, we made it! Kichiorgi Station! There it is! The end of today's walk! Thank you so much! And... Uh, See you next time. Bye bye. Hey, do. Mata ne. Tschüss.